everyone and welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new. I'm Eliandro and welcome back to another episode of what do townies look like with alpha costume content. I guess this is turning into a mini series on the channel because I've really been enjoying giving townies these alpha makeovers and you guys seem to like them so I'm gonna make a couple more videos but I am still a very much Max's match simmer. I am not switching to alpha. It is growing on me. I do like a lot of alpha things like alpha hair is so pretty. I love alpha lipsticks. They are amazing, but I'm still not a big fan of the clothes. So I'm going to be sticking to Max's match, but I think it's really cool to see what like these townies that we all know and love look like when you make them look all realistic with alpha custom content. So that's what we are doing. Like I said in last week's video, I am still learning alpha CC. I don't know how to make it look the best it can be. So if you are an alpha simmer, I hope you still think these sims look good because I think they turn out super, super good. Anyways, today we are doing the Caliente sisters, Dina and Nina. I was considering doing Katrina as well, but I decided to just stick to two sims like I have in the past two videos. Maybe I'll do her and Dawn later, but I realized I do not have any alpha custom content for males. So if I wanna do Dawn or any of the other guys, I'm gonna need to go CC shopping for some alpha guy CC. But today we're doing the sisters. Are they twins? Because I feel like they are, but then again, I feel like they aren't. <laughs> I feel like Nina is older, but maybe she's just like the older twin. I'm not sure. Anyway, Sims 4 is like an alternate reality compared to Sims 3 and the previous game. So I think they had a different mom in Sims 3 and Sims 2 or whatever. And now that they're in Sims 4, they live with Katrina, who is their mom. And they also live with Dawn, who is quote unquote Katrina's boy toy. But the household description also says that maybe he will gain interest for the other two girls in the household. So there might be some love interest in Dina or Nina as well. It is a whole drama. I love the Calientes. They're some of my favorite families in The Sims 4. I just think there is so much drama in this family. I have given them makeovers before. And in my last makeover video, I was talking about how I think the Calientes are like a cheap version of the land grabs and how land grabs are like really classy and elegant and they rule the town. And then there's the Calientes who try to be classy but kind of fail at it. And that's just how I see them. I feel like they're the budget version of the land grabs basically, but I love them. I love them more than the land grabs. I just think that's kind of their storyline. I think Katrina um, is an interesting mom. I think she was a really young mom. I think she goes out a lot. She's a partier, maybe brings home a lot of men. I don't think she was the best mom to these girls, but now they're all grown up. And I see the girls as kind of opposites. Gina is this like super pretty nice, girl next door kind of girl. She's a party girl for sure. She likes to go out partying. She has the master mixologist aspiration. So I'm giving her a party outfit. But again, it's not as classy as it could be. It's like they try, but they fail. So <laughs> that's Dina. And then Nina, she has the master of mischief aspiration. And I think she has some skill points in mischief as well. So she's kind of like the bad twin or sister. She gets into trouble, like she probably smokes and drinks and <laughs> they're quite opposites. She's also lazy while Dina is active. I think it was flipped in the previous game versions, but in this version, that's how they are. And yeah, I just, I love this family so much. And I definitely changed their ch styles as you can see I'm giving them completely different looks because I don't think EA did them justice. I hate how Nina looks. I absolutely hate her outfit. It is the worst thing. It does not suit her personality at all. And then for Dina, I wanted to give her a little bit more of a party look, more jewelry, more makeup. Like she's extremely pretty. I did not change her genetics, only her eyebrows a little bit. And here is her makeover. And yes, I gave her long hair. I tried really hard to give her short hair, but I just did not have an alpha hair that suited her. And also I really see her with long hair. That's just how I imagine Dina, but I think she looks so 
so pretty. I love Tina. She's definitely my favorite out of the two. I feel like she's for everybody and she's like the good love interest in the Sims 4 base game. But then moving on to her sister, Nina, she does not look the best. Honestly, like I said, I hate her outfit. I don't know what they were doing and I don't know how it represents her personality because she's wearing this mint green top with a huge bow and then a pink denim skirt with pink heels. I did not like that so I'm gonna give her a completely different style it's more of like streetwear it's really cool I like it on her a lot it's how I always dress her in these makeovers and then for her hair I'm gonna put it in this messy bun I'm gonna give her a little bit of a darker makeup she still looks really really pretty and then obviously I'm giving them all these realistic skin overlays and eyes and eyebrows which I'm growing to like they're still a little bit weird but I think they look good on them Nina has like a really small mouth and really small eyes they look good now that I gave her makeover but her previous hair and makeup really wasn't that flattering so yeah, I always thought she had like a really small mouth, but with this skin overlay, it actually looks pretty good. I think she looks really, really pretty. The eyes aren't the exact same color because they are not the EA colors. When you get alpha eyes, they have their own color palette. So I tried to match the eyes, but these are the ones I go for. I actually really, really like these eyes. I think they look super realistic and super cool. I actually feel like these eyes look like my eyes. I have eyes that are that same light green color, sometimes looks a little bit blue. I love these eyes, they're so cool. And then for her hair, I try like all my alpha hairs on her. Obviously she has this like long wavy hairstyle. She has super long hair. And this is the hair that I felt like really suited her the most. It was the most flattering for her face shape, for facial features. It's just a big messy bun. I felt like it really suited her style as well. For the makeup, we're going for a little bit of darker eyeliner and some eyeshadow and then I'm obsessed with alpha lipsticks. I love how like juicy they are, <laughs> if that makes any sense, and glossy, maybe that's a better word, and just they look so good and you can't really get that in Maxis Match, so I sometimes use alpha lipsticks in my Maxis Match game as well just because I love them so much and then for her clothes I'm actually gonna give her this like t-shirt dress over oversized t-shirt I think it's more of a t-shirt dress but I actually love it I downloaded it today don't remember where from I was downloading some stuff from the sims resource mainly I just wanted to like have a few more new bits but the t-shirt dress it has um, a hoodie or a sweater wrapped around her waist and I love how it looks and I'm gonna give her these black and white uh, trainers that are like really chunky with some fishnet socks I'm not sure how I feel about them I was like do I leave them do I take them off I don't know but I left them on her Feel like they're okay this is just not the style that i would wear because it's i do not like i cannot pull this off so it's kind of hard for me to style this specific style that doesn't make sense but this is a hard style for me to do i'm better with like more girly feminine looks and this like streetwear or I don't even know how to describe this more athletic this is an athletic but that's also hard for me to do so tried my best this is the t-shirt dress how nice is it i love it i think it looks so good it says xoxo but sure why not i gave her a green one i didn't have that many color options i felt like it looked really good with her ginger hair and yeah that is pretty much her makeover done i was considering giving her some tattoos as well but i feel like that was a little bit overboard a little bit too stereotypical so that is nina done as well and i'll show you guys the makeover pictures in a second i hope you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you did and let me know in the comments if you want to see a few more episodes of these alpha townie makeovers and who should i do next if i should go download some guy cc and do some of our guys as well let me know and if you are new here consider subscribing as well i do post new sims videos about three times a week but that is it for me today i hope you guys like how they turn out let me know in the comments down below what you think and i will see you guys in the next video bye